first question, Zach. Yes, I just want, what were you looking for on those last couple possessions offensively, and particularly that, that last one with Parker, and kind of where did it break down? I thought we froze, you know, once the ball got in, you know, Parker didn't have it. I kind of cut everybody off away from him and looking for a pick and roll to make a play, but we just froze. And, you know, I thought the play before that, when that X took the three, you know, I thought big fellow was in a good position to make the play, but he, he threw it out to X because he thought X was open on the three point line. At that point, you just got to, Put the uh, put it on the officials to make the call, and we didn't. So um, it's a tough game. You know, I got to give them credit because they played their butts off. Um, I thought we played great in stretches, but we just couldn't sustain it. I, you know, too many fouls. I mean, they didn't get a chance to go through our defense because we put them on the line so much, and that's tough coming down the stretch when they don't have to execute their offense. Mike, Coach, you had Parker on Johnny Davis late, and then you switched to Miller. Um, was there any thought about trying to trade there, and what was just the overall thought press on trying to slow him down there? Trey struggled with Davis. I mean, everybody struggled with Johnny. I mean, it wasn't just Miller. It was everybody that guarded him struggled with him. He had a hell of a game. I mean, he's that type of player. It's hard to double him because a lot of times he's up top and he's making plays off the bounce. And he kept, you know, beating our defense, going the other way. He was capable of doing it. He did it tonight. And uh, it didn't matter who he played, put on him. I mean, he just had a good game. I mean, I thought Miller played him well early. Um, I thought Parker played him well in stretches, but coming down the stretch, couldn't nobody play him. He had a great game. Coach, Wisconsin goes on an 8-0 run in the final 140. What did they kind of do to counter your guys' efforts and close out the game? Free throws. I mean, they were making plays with the ball. You know, we were trying to go inside. And, you know, we missed some wide open shots, you know, coming down the stretch. Um, and the times we got it inside, you know, Trace made them play, pay for it. You know, he was great. He made his free throws. And, I just don't think we milked it enough. You know, I kept trying to, to go to him because I knew he, they couldn't stop him. And, you know, him being so unselfish, he was letting the ball come out. And we just couldn't make shots. Jeff? Uh, coach, in the second half there, Trace gets 17 points. Nobody else gets more than seven in the second half. Why do you feel the other guys aren't more capable of giving him more offensive help at this stage of the season? I mean, again, guys are just not, you know, X, he had shots, he didn't make them. You know, we just couldn't make shots coming down the stretch. And again, I, you know, I put it on me, man. I, I got to get them in better position. Uh, you know, I can't shoot it for them, but I got to get them comfortable to the point where they feel good about making shots. I mean, the, Good teams do it. We're not that good yet. You know, we, we're still working progress, trying to figure it out down the stretch. But, I mean, we've played some good basketball this season, but we, we just haven't been consistent in bringing them home. I mean, we've been in every ball game fighting, battling. Can't take that away from my, our guys because they do fight, but we've got to learn how to win. i got to help them in that area. You, uh, you tried to steal some minutes to keep, you know, Trace and Reese uh, fresh, uh, but it didn't seem like you got enough in the second game. I give you just your thoughts on that and uh, how maybe you went down a stretch if you didn't get them going from here. Well, again, I mean, I, you know, Parker probably was the most positive thing off the bench. I thought Mike's few minutes he played, he was pretty positive. But other than that, we just, we struggled off the bench tonight. And, you know, I got to rest our guys sometime. And again, I guess on me, I got to get these guys feeling good coming off the bench, man. I mean, that's the only way we're going to have a chance of winning coming down the stretch. They got to relieve our guys to give them some, and then they got to be a little more productive. And I got to help them in that area. Last question, Tom. Mike, uh, Trace has been kind of struggling on shore a little bit the last three or four games, but tonight was huge and also had. Uh, season high six assists, the final third race a lot early. 
Uh, just how reassuring was that for you to see him bounce back like that and give you a performance like he did tonight? Well, it was great. I mean, he tried to put us on his back. Um, but again, our teammate, it hasn't been based on just Trace. You know, we when we've won, we, we've won collectively and the guys have pitched in and done their job. And right now, I'm just not getting that. Um, and I got to somehow help him, man, because you know, they, they kind of looking over their shoulders again, you know, uh, in the past years and how things have come uh, happened to them coming down the stretch, man. And, you know, I, I got to help them get over that somehow. All right, Coach, thank you.